Hey everyone, we're up to question three of part 7b of our Beginning Python uh, exercises. Let's jump straight into it. Um, the thing I like about this one is that I can think of ways that it would be useful. Say you were in charge of a database and you had to make usernames for all of your users, or you were dealing with emails, or you were uh, anything. You're making codes for teachers, or you had a sports team and you had to make some initializations for them. Taking names and making a username, I can think of many people who actually have to do this in real life, and you might be one of them eventually. Um, write a program which will take in a user's name, the first name and the surname, all in one input that's asking for, uh, and that will produce a username for them, which is the first five letters of their surname, followed by the, their first initial. The username is to be all lowercase. Uh, let's, uh, I'll show you how to do that as we go through. Hopefully you've already figured that out, and you're only here because you're stuck or you're finished. Um, hint, find the space which will then tell you where the surname begins. Okay, here's how I'm going to do this. Um, for those of you that did the crazy Mad Libs um, program, you'll already seen this um, function. If you haven't already seen this function, this will be new to you, um, and I'll show you what it does. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do um, is add, oh, get, get the username, oh, get the, names, the first name and the surname from my user. Uh, and so we want first name, not capital. Don't forget Python uses um, snake case, which is these underscores between each word. If you're, using, if you're used to using a different language or if you're using a different language, the conventions are different, this is how we do it. First underscore name, then I'm gonna put a comma and I'm gonna go second underscore name equals input please enter your first and second names I want to be really clear to my user I want two names here and I want them separated by this space why because I'm gonna go dot Split. What does dot split do? Well, whatever I feed into dot split, it's going to take a string and it's going to split it apart based on whatever I put in there. What do I want it to split with? I want it to split with that space. So if I just put a space there, it's going to find the space in that string uh, and it's going to split those two parts of the string apart and the first one is going to become the first name, and the second one is going to become the second name. Um, let's just see that in action. Gosh, that line's quite long. Let's zoom out a little bit. Um, let's go print first name, and then print second name. Okay, let's just prove that that's working to start with. Uh, oh, let's dash in that. I just cannot stand when it looks like that. Please enter your first and second names. Santa. Clause. So the first name was printed and then the second name. Okay, so you can see that these are now two separate variables. The first name becomes the first name. Second name becomes the second name. Whoa. Um, but that space is gone. The space is gone and it has been split because that split function went in, found that split, that space, and split those two variables apart. First one was assigned to the first, second was assigned to the second. I think you've got it, hopefully. Cool. Um, right, what do we need to do with that? Um, we need to produce a username now. Uh, the first five letters of the surname followed by their first initial and make the whole thing lowercase. There's a function for that too. It's just like back when smartphones first came out, there's an app for that, there's an app for that. Here in Python, there's a function for that, there's a function for that, or a library, or library functions within those libraries, lots. Um, okay, 
username is going to equal uh, second name. Oops. Uh, second name zero all the way through to six. Why six? Why didn't I say five? Because we don't include that six. We don't. Uh, that six is not included. Um, plus plus first name and I forgot that underscore again. First name zero. The first letter of their first name is going to be accessed by those square brackets there. Um, for those of you unfamiliar with this, this means I want from the first letter up to, but not including, the sixth letter. That's what that colon there is doing. From the first letter up to, but not including the sixth letter. Um, let's just print username just to see that that's working. And I'm getting a little bit, I don't, I hope you can still see that. I'm just running a little bit out of room with this. Please enter your first and second name. Um, good celebrities, I don't know. Hugo Weaving. <gasps> I've been proven wrong. I've been, I'm mistaken. Oh no. This is why you always run your code, you always check for bugs. Uh, that number is included in the range function. I'm terribly sorry, I have put you wrong. Um, should I re-record it? No, you can just see me make a mistake and learn along with you. Um, zero to five um, actually is what we wanted. That is included in the username. So that, that fifth letter is included. Uh, let's try again. Oh goodness, oh goodness. Going back and forth all the time. Hugo Weaving. That's better, that's better there. Okay, um, one problem. We have both uppercase and lowercase letters in that. Username needs to be all lowercase. Uh, there's a function for that, it is dot lower. So we need to go username dot, dot lower. See how that's turned yellow? Um, that means that that's actually a function that exists in Python. And that there, one more time, gosh, maybe you've got a different actor or celebrity or person that you could make a username for. I'm gonna stick with Hugo Weaving because it came to mind. Here we go, or lowercase, success. What did we want? Did we need to do anything else with that? Or did we just want to print it out? I think we just wanted to make it and print it out. Let's check. That's all, great. Question three done, see you in question four. In or hold up.